Guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, some of the top uh, CSS uh, frameworks that are going to enable you to create uh, websites uh, which uh, both look beautiful and uh, or semantically structured uh, in uh, a really solid way. So let's get started with uh, the basics uh, and uh, we're going to have to talk about uh, Tailwind CSS in this list because uh, it's uh, one of the most popular ways of uh, utilizing a framework which uh, is going to enable you to create uh, beautiful websites in a fast and efficient way. Now, I used uh, Tailwind CSS extensively in uh, my projects and in my client projects uh, and uh, I can tell you that uh, it's uh, a beautiful framework. It's not uh, perfect uh, but uh, it definitely is uh, a really solid solution for anyone who is looking uh, to get up uh, a website uh, which looks modern and uh, is relatively flexible in a short amount of time. So as you can see over here uh, you can uh, basically understand that even just from looking at the website uh, kind of like the the vibe and the design aspect of it it's uh, quite modern it's uh, quite minimal and uh, customizable and that is one of the reasons why i personally believe that tailwind is so popular the overall the design is a very uh, modern and uh, flexible this type of designs uh, as you can see are quite uh, good in a variety of situations and uh, one of the things that I like the most about it is that uh, it bridges uh, both uh, the website and web app uh, side of things so even the components uh, are built uh, in a way which uh, uh, really mimic closely the web app so you can utilize these components in both the website and in a web app and of course it's going to be optimized for both but um, what I did in the past is uh, I uh, really heavily worked on uh, the design side of things so uh, actually uh, Tailwind used to have a Figma file which unfortunately is uh, not available anymore or it's not uh, any longer updated uh, which personally I think is a shame because uh, that was one of the strengths uh, in my opinion as a designer but uh, nonetheless uh, you can access uh, uh, the packages uh, over here and you can have access to the code and as you can see also they have this uh, dark mode which uh, uh, is available for pretty much all of the components and you can easily switch it and uh, basically update it. So overall I think uh, it's quite a, a good uh, way of uh, structuring uh, a modern looking project uh, overall uh, in uh, a fast and efficient way. So that will be my very first recommendation when it comes to CSS uh, frameworks. Now the second one which I want to talk about is uh, Bootstrap because of course uh, this is one of the OGs of CSS uh, frameworks uh, um, and uh, of course uh, everybody or most uh, designers and developers have heard about Bootstrap and uh, one of the reasons why I really love uh, this uh, uh, this framework is uh, not only how efficient it is, uh, it's uh, been one of the first uh, frameworks that uh, I used uh, in the past, uh, but uh, what I really like about it is that uh, if you go on uh, the Bootstrap themes, uh, which uh, you can find uh, on the top panel once you go under getbootstrap.com, uh, you're going to be able to access uh, the themes, uh, which uh, personally, I believe uh, they look uh, really, really good. They have extremely solid themes. Uh, so even if you take a, a look uh, at the preview, these are looking extremely nice uh, and uh, they are all top notch. Uh, I don't know what's up with uh, <laughs> the themes marketplace, but uh, it's one of the top uh, theme marketplace uh, uh, available in uh, my personal opinion. They have uh, so many nice uh, and uh, minimal looking themes, uh, which um, really appreciate. So you can actually create uh, websites and uh, web apps uh, in a very fast and efficient way utilizing uh, Bootstrap as the base of uh, this uh, 
flow. So definitely Bootstrap is uh, one of the ones that you want to consider. And uh, you can customize everything with uh, SAS. So as you know, um, SAS, uh, Bootstrap utilizes SAS for a modular and customizable architecture. So that's uh, kind of like the, the base of it. And uh, you can build and extend in real time with CSS variables. And uh, I highly recommend you to check out all of the nuances because uh, overall, it's uh, one of the most solid options that uh, you can have out there whenever you're creating a website. Now, another mention that uh, I want to make uh, is uh, Flowbyte, which uh, this one is interesting because it enables you to build websites uh, with uh, components on top of Tailwind CSS. So this is basically an open source library of over 600 UI components, uh, sections and pages built with the utility classes from Tailwind CSS uh, and designed in Figma. So this is a special mention that I wanted to have out there for developers and designers. And um, I just uh, really like uh, uh, the fact that uh, it's uh, open, open source and uh, you can uh, actually uh, utilize uh, the base of uh, Tailwind. And as you can see over here, let's say that we, if we open uh, the bottom section, uh, you can see that the documentation is extremely clear. And uh, overall, it has this uh, really nice uh, and uh, modern feel to it, uh, which uh, is uh, really appreciated. And I think it's a must these days, especially if you're starting a, a company, a online business, a startup, uh, it's uh, really important to have a solid base uh, for you to move uh, agile and uh, fast and uh, without having to worry too much about uh, uh, all of the nuances about uh, the designs. But of course, if you want to create something completely custom, still, yet again, uh, utilizing these frameworks is going to enable you to not start everything from scratch and uh, just stare at the white screen, but actually having a base that you can uh, work upon and uh, it's nonetheless it's going to speed things up and uh, make the process easier now let's uh, talk about the very last one which is uh, bulma and uh, this is a modern css framework as um, you can see over here they say bulma is a free open source framework that provides ready to use front end components that you can easily combine to build responsive web interfaces no CSS knowledge required. So for all of you designers out there and uh, <clears throat> no code founders, uh, this is the framework for you. And um, it's uh, overall uh, really nice. Uh, looks looks pretty, pretty good, pretty modern. And uh, yeah, it's quite, uh, quite easy overall to implement uh, and to learn. And uh, they even mention uh, CSS only, so it integrates uh, in any uh, JavaScript uh, environment. And uh, yeah, overall, uh, it enables you to create some really nice uh, looking solutions in a very fast and efficient way. So Bulma is uh, definitely another option that uh, you should check out if uh, you're looking for a CSS uh, framework. So this is pretty much it for this video. I hope uh, it uh, helped you. And if you have any questions on this topic, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And uh, I want to remind you that on my channel, you can find over 900 videos uh, entirely for free on the topic of web design and uh, UI UX design. So feel free to check them out if you're interested in that. And I'll see you in the very next video.